Hey everyone, welcome back to The Nature Patch. Today I wanted to do kind of like a day in the life style video where I show you the garden jobs that I got up to today. This is a really typical day for me. I do work from home and I work full time, um, but the great thing about that is that I can kind of choose my hours that I work as long as I get the job done. So because the garden is like my pride and joy. It is just something that I absolutely love. I love being out there. I love just planting plants and being in the garden. Thankfully, I can get quite a little bit done around my job. Today, although it was kind of a typical day, the weather, not typical. It is blowing a gale quite literally outside right now. I've just come back in um, from finishing off this video. So I tried to get as much as I could done in the garden. Um, I usually like to either do some in the morning or the afternoon, but I kind of split up the jobs today. So I'll do a little bit of a voiceover for this video. I really hope you enjoy. Let me know if you like these style of videos and I can definitely do more kind of day in the life in the garden style video. So grab a tea or coffee or something to drink and I hope you enjoy today's video. So lately it has been really chilly in the mornings. So I've been starting my morning with a cup of tea. I'll either have like a black tea with milk or a green tea just to warm myself up and get my body started for the day. I really like to enjoy my mornings and have a slow morning, taking time to do at least one or two things in the garden if I can fit it in. And this morning I was just keeping it really simple and just emptying the compost into some of the worm farms and the compost bin. So you'll see here, I just have a little bit of cardboard on top to help insulate the worms because we've been having a lot of the colder temperatures now, it's coming into winter. We had a pawpaw or papaya that my parents had brought down from their house and it just hadn't ripened at all. Um, you can make green papaya salad, but we just were not feeling like that with all of the cold weather. So the worms were lucky enough to have that. I just like to mix it around a little bit um, and then put the cardboard back on top to kind of help keep a little bit of the heat in there. And then I'm just emptying our kitchen compost bin into my larger compost. So this is just a mixture of all of our uh, kitchen scraps and a bit of cardboard as well. And I'm using um, just a little aerator tool. This has really, really helped me with these types of compost bins to add air into the mix. You can see here it's bringing up all of the compost from the bottom layers up to the top and adding air in as it goes. It is really easy to use. It's not too heavy, um, so anyone can use these kinds of tools. I'd really recommend them if you have a compost bin like this. And then I'm just uh, tearing up a little bit of paper to add in that carbon layer because the bin was quite full of kitchen scraps because we go through quite a lot in our household, particularly when we have family visiting. And this makes me feel productive in the morning. It starts me off in a really good way, knowing that I've at least done something in the garden. I'm contributing to my dream, even if it's really small by adding um, your compost in the bin or you know doing something little in the garden. It's helping to provide nutrients for my garden um, and you know little things like this make a big difference in the future. I was also just washing out the um, bin and just keeping it in the sun and sun really helps to remove any smells or bacteria that may be in your kitchen compost. And then just checking up on all of my seedlings, making sure that they're all healthy and turning the trays around so they get more sun. Today I also had a little bit more time in the morning so I wanted to plant a beautiful little salvia bush that I had picked up. It has little um, white and purpley pink flowers on it and I think it's going to look really nice next to the shed here. So I'm just getting my tools that I need and some worm castings too. Worm castings are just the best thing in my opinion for your plants. 
They're not harsh for any plants and they have so much microbial activity and good organic matter that plants just love. So I love adding worm castings into the holes that I dig for any plant that I'm planting just to give it a nice, good, healthy start to the plant's life when it's transplanted into the soil. So I'm adding a little bit in here and filling in the hole just to make sure that the plant is level with the ground. And then just making sure that it has a healthy root structure, which this plant looks really good. And then I'm looking at where it's branching off to see where I want to position it, what way I want it to be facing. So I want the branches to be on the sides so that it branches out and not quite into the pathway, but fills up this little space that I have here. So making sure you're always looking at the base of the plant when you plant it into the ground, unless it's a tree just with one stem or one trunk to make sure which direction you want it to grow. I think this plant's gonna look really nice as it grows up into a nice little bush for this area and kind of frame the pathway down into the back garden as well. This was actually just a break in the day, I think. I just, I wanted a little break. I like to break up my day and I love coming out to the garden just to have a break from the computer screen and check on everything that's happening in the garden. We've got some beautiful zinnias that are flowering right now. They're just providing so much color for the garden. The bees are loving the Chinese broccoli that is flowering. And I, I always like growing this for the bees rather than actually eating it myself. Just getting a little bit of sunshine, enjoying all of the beautiful birds and the fresh air. Everything is growing so well in the garden right now. Particularly all these little pansies and violas in the pots are just loving life. I also have some beautiful stock growing that smells amazing. These are just little dwarf varieties but they definitely do give off a lot of scent, which I'm loving in the garden. And I also do love to start out my day or break up the day with, with just enjoying a little bit of time outside with the cats. They love going out on the balcony that we have so they can get their morning sunnies. So Annie is heading out there and Rocky is also going to join her. And I just stay out there with my coffee for a little bit, just getting some sun myself um, when it is sunny, which is a rarity at the moment with all of this rain. Just get a bit of fresh air. It really helps me to recenter myself, calm down if I have any anxiety or I'm worried about work or anything like that. I really love having this little balcony and I wish we had a little bit more outdoor space here that we could have like uh, some chairs and tables, which is something I'm gonna work on in the future. This is my little desk that I have been working on. I like to journal in the mornings or throughout the day. And today I was working on some research work, um, looking at ecosystem services certification on indigenous lands, really interesting stuff. Um, and also Annie was helping me out by keeping me company. She loves to lie on her back and get sun. Let me know if your cat does this as well. It's concerning when you when you see her, but she's perfectly fine. She's just loving life. <laughs> in the afternoon, I had a few more jonquil bulbs that I wanted to get in the ground. One of them was actually a little bit moldy, which is fine. I didn't plant that one, but thankfully all of the others were fine and it's you know coming to the end of when I should be getting these bulbs in the ground, but I'm still gonna plant them. They'll be fine and I'm sure they'll grow well, just be a little bit later flowering potentially than all of the other ones that I've planted. And I think they'll be really nice having a line of them around this little corner of the garden that they can kind of peek out and then they can just stay here and I can plant a bush or a shrub or have pots. Uh, behind them because bulbs will or these bulbs will come back every year uh, and they'll die back over summer and then come back in the cooler months to then flower in spring so I'm just going to be planting them in a line around the edge 
These like to be planted around 15 centimeters deep and uh, like a good feed. So I forgot to put the uh, fertilizer on when I was actually planting them. I ended up putting the fertilizer on the very top of the mulch, but I like to use this uh, organic fertilizer. It's just uh, pelletized chicken manure, really great for the garden, um, all organic and the plants seem to really love it. So I'm just spacing all of these out and then planting them in the ground. It was so, so windy when I was doing this. It was also freezing cold. Uh, it wasn't the most pleasant time in the garden, but I never regret going outside, even though the weather is just horrendous sometimes. Um, I always regret not going out rather than when I do get out and get some fresh air and do something in the garden. And even if you choose one little tiny job like putting your compost in the compost bin or putting some bulbs in the ground, if you're doing that, you know, every few days or once a day or whatever throughout the week, you'll accomplish so much over that week because working full time and having a garden is really, really hard because sometimes on the weekend, doing garden jobs is the last thing I want to do. I just want to relax and, you know, like be a vegetable on the couch sometimes. But I always, you know, love enjoying seeing all of the plants grow and just doing little things at a time will all add up. And this is how I've created this garden here. I haven't done it in a day. I haven't done it just by myself. I've had a little bit of help, but usually I'll be just planting one, one thing each day or one or two things every few days. And that's how I like to garden because it just means that it's not overwhelming for me and I can enjoy it and I can feel productive and start ticking tasks off rather than leaving it all to one moment. I think that's just such a great way to garden um, and feel productive and successful uh, with all of the garden jobs that you may have. So I'm planting all of these in there and then I'm mulching with sugarcane mulch. This is just my favorite mulch to use because it breaks down so well and it adds really great nutrients into the soil. I also really, really like to use it uh, in the compost bin and in my worm farm. The worms really, really love sugarcane mulch. And you'll see here that I am just adding a little bit into the worm farm. This is where we had some coffee grounds and this is also the worm farm that we put our cat waste into keep it all nice and separate and nice and safe. And this is such a really great carbon um, layer for worm farms and mixing this in any smell that you may have that's coming from a worm farm instantly goes when I put sugarcane mulch in it. It actually starts to smell quite nice. I really like the smell of sugarcane uh, and the worms really, really love it as kind of their bedding for the farm. And then again, this is another really small job that I like to do every few days, keep it really, really manageable, is just to pull out a few weeds. These are quite annoying, these little onion weeds. I'm not even sure what they're called, but they are kind of like a tiny little onion, I suppose. They're not edible, I don't think, but they have these little tiny bulbs at the ends. Uh, and you really need to pull them out straight or else it's really hard to get them out of the ground. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, this is the conditions that I was filming this in. Not fun at all, but still a really productive day in the garden. And I'm glad I got all of this done alongside with some work. Um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video um, and that uh, it isn't as windy as it was here in your garden. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And until my next one, happy gardening, everyone. Bye.